Chelsea's latest signing, George Hornshaw. Welcome to the club, George. Thank you very much. Um, finally got something over the line. I'm happy to uh, be part of the uh, team and also can't wait to get going, play some games and enjoy it. With the season fast approaching, it's been a positive pre-season for Gainsborough so far. Is that what's helped persuade you to join the club? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, I played against them uh, for in the Lincoln game and i just seen how um, how well they played. I mean, they, they didn't give us any time on the ball. It was always pressing, yeah. But then when they did keep the ball, they weren't just trying to get it as quick as they can towards the, well, to score a goal, but they kept it, played some nice football. Uh, I just like the, the the ground was unreal. Like, the pitch was lovely. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a no-brainer, really. Just the way they played football. Um, good, good quality side. Like you've been at Gainsborough before, albeit briefly, back in 2019. How much would you say you've changed since then? And um, what can you bring to the club now? Since then, I've, I think I've changed massively. I mean, when I came to the club in 2019, um, I didn't really get much game time. Uh, I think I played a few minutes here and there. But um, since then, I think I've progressed massively. Um, I've, that's when I was at Scunthorpe, I managed to get a few league games in. A few cup games here and there, and uh, I've learned a lot in that period of time. Um, obviously, I couldn't thank Scunthorpe enough for what they've done for me over the years, but now I'm ready to kick on at Gainsborough and show everyone what I can do. Um, hopefully, get a few goals um, and uh, get the team as high as we can this season. Whilst you were at Scunthorpe, you were obviously involved in a little bit of a relegation battle, but is that something that can improve your strength of character? and be something that you can bring to Trinity? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think when you're in situations like a relegation battle, it sure, it brings out who people really are. Um, if you're a fighter, if you're just going to give up. But yeah, I'm definitely a fighter. Um, I like On the pitch, I like to put in a good tackle. I like to be aggressive. Uh, I don't like to mess about. I um, like to get the job done. Uh, hopefully I can bring that onto the pitch for Gainsborough. You certainly seem to be a versatile player. Where would you say your preferred position is? Is it in the centre of a part or at fullback? Uh, yeah, to be to be honest, I'm still trying to figure it out out myself. But uh, really, I just play wherever the team need me, and I'll do a job no matter what. Um, ideally, I like playing centre midfield as I get to get on the ball more. I like to get involved. I like to get up. I like to get down. I like to put in tackles. I like to get forward and maybe try to score a goal. But even at right back. I like putting in some crosses. I like defending. Um, either way, really, I don't mind as long as uh, I'm happy and the team's happy and uh, whatever suits them, whatever suits the team. With the average age of a group that we've put together so far, it certainly looks like it's going to be young, hungry, exciting, and you certainly fit that criteria. So hopefully an exciting season's in store. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited to see what happens. I've um, been training a few times now. And uh, yeah, the lads are young, but they're definitely raring to go. Hunger um, is definitely key. But um, looking forward to getting in, playing a few games, hopefully play on Saturday in a friendly and then see what goes from there. Brilliant. Well, all I want to do now is ask you 10 quick fire questions just to get yeah. to know you that little bit more. And we'll kick off with the team that you support. Team that I support? I support Hull City. Um, I'm to... from Hull. I know, yeah, somebody has to. I'm from Hull, so I've always supported them since I was a young lad. I've had a season, my dad's always bought me a season pass ever since I can remember. Um, but yeah, I've been following from full full life, but uh, yeah, it's it's been a roller coaster. So more downs than ups, but the memorable moments along the way, I guess. Yeah, exactly that, exactly that. Okay, what would be the best ground that you've played at? Best ground that I've played at, probably... Vicarage Road, I played the Watford last season in pre-season. It, it was something else, like just the pitch, the how big it was, the stadium. Um, yeah, it was definitely, you could tell that it was a Premier League sort of facilities ground. It was unreal. It certainly is one of those grounds that stick in your sort of mind. And yeah. pre-season, I'm guessing it wasn't as full as it would be on a match day for Premier League. No, yeah. Um, no, obviously it was last season, yeah, it was, it was COVID, obviously, so no fans were in, unfortunately. But uh, it was still an unbelievable experience. Yeah. OK, who would you say the biggest influence has been in your career to date? 
the biggest influence? Uh, I don't think I've had one individual person who's been my biggest influence. I think everybody who's helped me throughout my career, including my mum, my dad, everybody like that has been my biggest influence. I wouldn't have got anywhere near that if it weren't for them. All the coaches I've had through the academy at Scunthorpe to making it, I've had loads, a lot of coaches and I've had every single one of them I took points off and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, thank them enough, um, especially my mum and dad, I wouldn't have got anywhere without them. I mean, they took me here, there and everywhere. So I think, mo- I don't think there's one person really. I think it's a, like, all a combination of people. But if you can take little bits from everybody and stack yeah. them on top of each other, it gives you a fighting chance, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Right. Do you have a boyhood hero? Boyhood hero? Um, not really. I, don't, I wouldn't say I would, but I've always sort of liked David Beckham. I mean, just growing up, you sort of see it. When, when he was playing, you just think, wow, what a player. And the way his free kicks and all that sort of stuff, I was sort of not grew up to be like him, but I liked sort of him as one of the players that when I was growing up, if you know what I mean. Yeah, one of those, but again, you want to take a little bit of their game, a little bit of personality and recreate yeah. it as yourself almost. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Have you got a toughest opponent that you faced, whether that be in first team or in training? Um, the toughest opponent I've probably faced was when I was under 18s for Scunthorpe. Um, we played Chelsea away in the U, U, uh, Youth Cup and we played Hudson Adoy. He was playing and um, he was ridiculous. I mean, he was just tearing us apart and I just couldn't get anywhere near him. So I definitely have to say him. So a couple of years down the line, facing yeah. again <laughs> and showing how much you've grown since then. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay. Just a bit of a sidestep. Have you got a Netflix series that you can recommend? A Netflix series I can recommend? Um, the Office. I absolutely love The Office. The American version. Um, I definitely recommend that. It gets you every time. Plus, there's so many of them. You can't. You just cannot get bored. You can just watch as many as you can you, every, all day. I just oh, I love it. I think it was Kyle Dixon who's also recommended that. So that's in common. Yeah. I Definitely. think it was Kyle. I might have done him a disservice yeah. if it wasn't. But yeah, not the first one that. Yeah, have a look at that. Have you got a claim to fame? Claim to fame. Um, trying to think. Claim to fame. Have I? I don't think so, really. I mean, I suppose when you play for like clubs like Scunthorpe and that, you, you get on to like games like FIFA. I suppose that's sort of a a big thing for some people, but nothing else, I don't think. No, not really. So you've got your own FIFA card? Baby. Yeah, when I was uh, back then, yeah, back then. All right. If you were stranded on a desert island, what three items would you want to take with you to keep yourself from getting bored? Three items? Um, probably, obviously, a football. Um, that keeps you pretty occupied. It, and you can uh, probably make a few little things to like a goal or something maybe and obviously a football um, keep me occupied maybe like um, I know maybe like my iPad because so you can watch things on it and maybe I don't know third one maybe I don't know maybe my phone just because it keeps you occupied, doesn't it? I don't really know what I'd bring to me. I've not really thought about that one. Yeah, it's all right. It's just to put you on the spot. But yeah. You might be a bit bored after your battery dies, but... Can't yeah, exactly. Off. I didn't think about that. I should have bought a battery thing, charger. No worries. All right. Now, four people, living or dead, that you'd have round for dinner, just so that you could pick their brains, enjoy their company, <laughs> whatever it might be. Four people. I've always wanted to meet the Queen, so I think I'd have the Queen round for dinner. Um, I think she's uh, she seems to be quite uh, quite funny recently. I've seen quite a few videos of her uh, out and about. Um, so I'd have the Queen. I think I'd have someone. I think I'd have David Beckham there, just because he's probably one of the biggest footballers I've always grown up with, like looked up to. Um, so there's two. 
might have someone from the past. Um, maybe like a maybe like Michael Jackson or something like that. So when if he comes back, you can play a few songs at, at the if if in front of the meal or something, and then maybe. Um, Maybe Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, he's someone else who I've obviously grown up with. I think he's an unbelievable person. Uh, I think he'd have a lot, of, quite a few good stories to tell. Um, I think he'd be quite interesting, actually. Definitely agree for you. I think the Queen might be yeah. a little bit left out. With yeah, she hasn't got much company there, actually. She will not have much company. But I'm sure she's met David Beckham a few times and must have shared a few yeah. quiet words with him. Yeah, definitely. No problem. And then just to finish, a prediction for the 2021-22 season. What, for Gainsborough? It can be for Gainsborough, can be for Premier League or anywhere in between. Um, well, obviously I hope that Gainsborough, we can push as far as we can. Hope for, hopefully maybe get promoted through either winning or playoffs. That would be ideal. I'd love that. Um, maybe for a whole city to hopefully stay in the championship, which will be a struggle. Um, I think that's about it really and for just me to do as well as I can do for Gainsborough um, hopefully push on and show everyone what I can do I'm looking forward to seeing you doing your best and seeing where it leads us thank you